The Olympics, often hailed as the pinnacle of global sports, bring together the world's best athletes every four years. It's a stage where legends are born and historic moments are etched into memory. However, behind the glamour of gold medals and national pride lies a stark reality that many Olympic athletes face. Despite their immense talent and dedication, they aren't paid like the stars they are. In the USA, this issue has sparked conversations, especially in light of recent developments in sports and the broader world of athletics. Olympic athletes, unlike professionals in the NBA, NFL, or MLB, do not earn salaries from their participation in the games. In fact, many athletes have to rely on personal savings, sponsorships, and side jobs to sustain their careers. The U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee, USOPC, does offer financial incentives for medalists, $37,500 for a gold medal, $22,500 for silver, and $15,000 for bronze. But for many athletes, these one-time payments are far from enough to cover years of training, travel, and competition expenses. In contrast, professional athletes in other sports often enjoy lucrative contracts, endorsements, and media deals that Olympic athletes can only dream of. For example, NBA players like LeBron James or NFL quarterbacks such as Patrick Mahomes earn millions of dollars annually, a stark difference uh, from Olympians who compete for national pride rather than paychecks. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics, delayed to 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, further exposed the financial vulnerability of athletes. With the postponement, many athletes lost crucial sponsorships and struggled to maintain their training schedules. Some had to take on part-time jobs to make ends meet. For example, American runner Noah Lyles, a world champion sprinter, has openly discussed how the pandemic affected his income as sponsorship deals became uncertain. More recently, the 2024 Paris Olympics have reignited debates on athlete compensation. The spotlight is increasingly on the U.S. women's soccer team, which has long fought for equal pay and better treatment compared to their male counterparts. And or it while they are now compensated more equally, many female athletes, particularly those in less commercialized sports, still struggle with financial insecurity. For many Olympic athletes, sponsorships are the primary source of income. Brands like Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour often step in to offer deals to top athletes, but these endorsements are reserved for a select few who are marketable. Athletes in less popular sports or those who don't win medals often find it hard to secure such deals. This disparity creates a scenario where only the most successful or marketable athletes can afford to focus solely on their sport. Additionally, even athletes with sponsorships face restrictions during the Olympics setting. Under the International Olympic Committee's IOC Rule 40, athletes are prohibited from promoting their sponsors during the Games unless the sponsors are official Olympic partners. This rule has been criticized for limiting athletes' earning potential during the most important event of their careers. The issue of athlete pay isn't exclusive to the Olympics. In recent years, college athletes in the U.S. have also faced financial struggles, despite generating billions of dollars for the NCAA and their schools. However, recent rulings allowing student athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness nil rights have begun to change the landscape. This shift in college sports may serve as a blueprint for future reforms in the Olympic world where athletes could potentially gain more control over their earnings. The main reason Olympic athletes aren't paid, like professional sports stars, boils down to the nature of the Olympics themselves. The Olympics are funded by national governing bodies and the IOC, which derive most of their revenue from broadcasting rights and sponsorship deals. Unlike professional leagues, the Olympic movement is not designed to generate profits for athletes, but to promote sports on a global stage. This model leaves many athletes without the financial support they need to sustain long careers. Additionally, the sheer diversity of sports in the Olympics, ranging from high revenue events like swimming and gymnastics to lesser known competitions like modern pentathlon, means that there is no universal system for compensating athletes. The Uneven distribution of attention and resources further exacerbates the financial challenges faced by many Olympians. The question remains, should Olympic athletes be paid more directly for their participation? Advocates argue that the IOC, national committees, and sponsors should do more to support athletes financially, especially given the billions in revenue the games generate. In the U.S., there have been calls for the USOPC to increase its support for athletes, not just in the form of medal bonuses, but also through stipends and health benefits. On the global stage, some have suggested that Olympic athletes should be paid salaries, similar to professional sports leagues. This could provide a more stable income. 
for athletes, allowing them to focus on their training without the stress of financial insecurity. However, this would require a significant overhaul of the Olympic model, which has traditionally relied on amateurism as a core principle. The Olympic Games will always be a symbol of global unity, excellence, and competition, but for the athletes who dedicate their lives to this event, the financial rewards often fall short. The dark side of the Olympics reveals a system where only a few truly profit while many others struggle to stay afloat. As the sports world evolves and the conversation around athlete compensation continues, it's time for a closer look at how Olympic athletes are supported and whether they should be paid like the stars they truly are.